Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome you all. So, today as we have discussed in the last lecture that we are going to talk about transplantation or kind of graft versus host reaction. Okay. So, and as usual this uh, slide also contain many images from the geno immunobiology book and uh, today what we are going to discuss is like if you transplant any organ or a part of one's body to another person, what happened? Our adaptive immune system are rejecting it. Not every cases, but most of the cases. Okay. So, immune system when developed, there is no question of this uh, kind of transplantation, but somehow our immune system developed the adaptive immunity against anything foreign. Foreign means even if it is human to human, um, immune system do not agree with that. So, they find it foreign and do the adaptive immune response and as a result what happened if we transplant any organ like you know many of you know or most of you know or heard about like kidney transplantation, cornea transplantation, heart transplantation, okay, skin transplantation. So, for many reason we have to do this is a very important medical aspect like the transplant and our immune system is really causing problem and that is one of the major reason like why do we have to understand the immunology in good extent so that we can overcome or manipulate the immune system in such a way so that we can uh, do this uh, thing uh, very easily. Now, I mean whatever we had the situation like 10, 15 years back or 20 years back, it is much better now. We will see why it is better, for what reason it is better. Transplantation is much more common today and success rate is very high, but still immune system is working in its own way. Okay. So, what is the major parameter or what is the major thing that uh, immune system is going to do with the transplant organ and why immune system reject it and how it is going to reject we will go uh, just briefly like or as much as possible within this limit. So, there are two major types of uh, transplantation, one is solid organs, solid organs means kidney, heart, brain okay. and second one is the bone marrow or hematopoietic stem cells in case of particularly the leukemia if you uh, consider. So, in solid organ it is um, in solid organ it is uh, you can say kidney, heart, brain and in bone marrow hematopoietic stem cells we are mostly do like in case of leukemia or the blood cell cancer. So, to change like if there is I mean in blood cancer what happens? the bone marrow cells get transformed and they are producing a single type of cell lot of uh, a huge amount. So, if we have to change this we can change this. Um, by a good bone marrow or the hematopoietic stem cells in the bone marrow. So, that that person individually can produce the correct cells and in case of somebody some person kidneys somehow not working then we need to transplant the kidney and in some cases heart. So, so that that individual every other organs are perfectly all right, but kidney is not working. So, whole body is going to collapse with time. So, just to uh, or liver transplantation. So, any any kind of organ from one particular person or the donor to the recipient is called transplantation and in that case how immune system reacts we will see. And the another thing is blood, blood is also a tissue right. So, if we transplant blood do we call it transplantation? No, normally we call it blood transfusion is also tissue, but it is not as complicated as uh, the other organ. Blood has only four type that you know A, B, A, B and O and another 
factor is R H factor R H plus and minus. So, if you and matching these blood groups is very simple and straightforward. So, when you transfuse blood it is very easy and simple test are there we just match the group and the um, R H positive or R H negative and then uh, we can transfuse. But even after that if a person continuously transfuse with different person's blood uh, sometimes what happened antibody against RBC or RBC membrane protein has developed. So, reaction is there, but it is still much better. So, we do not consider it as other organ transplantation, but we call it transfusion, but it is also a tissue when you transfer and this is the earliest one which is solved long time back right. And you know who discovered this blood grouping also received a Nobel prize and that we do not care that much like kidney or other solid organs or the stem cells. So, what actually causing this problem and what kind of graft soma is po uh, possible. So, if we go for classification of graft we depending on that we say allo transplant ok, allo transplant or allo graft what is that? It is the transplantation of cells or tissue or the organ to a recipient from genetically non identical donor, but the same species like human to human if we transfer then, but we are not genetically, genetically identical. No two individuals are genetically identical except the uh, if you see the last one the isograft or syngenin graft that is genetically identical donor means identical twin. Okay, identical twin what is identical twin? Twin can form two way like two egg can fertilized by two different sperm. So, basically they are two independent they are genetically different, but if one egg fertilized by one sperm and that zygote divided into two and then two individual happen or the twin uh, born they will be identical that is called identical twin. So, they are genetically basically identical because from one cell divided to two cell that two cell from two individuals. So, in that case we call it isograft or syngenic graft otherwise any two individual even the uh, offspring or parent anybody is very close very related, but they are not genetically identical ok. Particularly in a particular set of genes that we are going to come. So, in that case we the graft we call allograft or allogenic graft and the transplant we call allotransplant. What is autograft? Autograft means if, if tissue transplanted from one part of the body to other part of the body ok same individual like it happened when many times we do that for the artery ok heart operation we do that for skin like if there is any part of the exposed part of the body get burned then we transplant the skin from other part of the body which is normally covered. So, skin will develop there the scar will not be visible. So, we do it in that case it is autograft, but earlier days people used to think about the xenograft, xenograft means part of the body or the organ from different species like pig to human, monkey to human that is called genograft. So, there are four different kind of grafts are there, but normally what happen if I mean it is not always possible to have the isograft or the identical twin uh, uh, as a donor right. Autograft is common if necessary we can have, but most of the transplantation that we have you must have heard like ok uh, kidney donor the uh, person is looking for a kidney donor. That means, we need another person to give the um, uh, organ and that in that case we. So, most of the cases we see in the transplantation is allograft transplantation ok. Autograft is still more than this identical twin, but nowadays there are a lot of uh, attempt was made and people are still trying to modify genograft uh, just to modify the other org organisms organ in such a way. So, that we can transplant there are a lot of um, recombinant technology thing is there and you already know complement right. So, if any in, um, other species organ transplant into our body what will happen our complement will find them um, foreign and little help of antibody 
that will kill all the organs. So, now what uh, people are trying to put the inhibitor of uh, complement which is already say you already know that our blood also along with the complement protein also have some protein which inhibit their function. So, that our complement should not harm our own cell. So, if that inhibitor protein you make a transgenic animal. So, that that animal will express uh, the inhibitor protein of human. So, what will happen that organ if you transplant at least complement will not do any harm. Okay, complement will not create any problem. So, this way people are trying uh, another uh, way people are trying which I might have heard I am do not have much scope, but just to tell the uh, briefly like tissue engineering. Okay. So, people are trying to get the cell from individual and make the tissue in, in the lab. So, that uh, that organ can be transplanted. So, if I can make a liver from my liver cells or any other kind of stem cells in laboratory. So, that liver will be basically almost similar or identical with my liver. So, if I can make liver outside by tissue engineering that liver I can transplant. So, it is not that easy like I cannot make a kidney in the lab so easily, I, but skin uh, the research on skin development or artificial skin development is much in progress uh, and it is almost uh, in a good shape. So, that may be in near future there are some, but not exactly like our skin, but it very close to our skin is already developed in the laboratory. So, from my cell skin has been developed that skin can be transplanted. So, we do not have to cut skin from other part of the body. Okay. So, what actually rejecting or what actually responsible for that graft rejection? The graft rejection is an immunological response completely and it is mediated primarily by T cells. Okay, you know T cell is a very important component of the adaptive immune response. So, T cells how it is discovered? It is discovered it was First, in how this transplantation is discovered, it is long back in, in 1930s when one scientist in England was trying to transplant tumor from one mice to another mice. Okay. And what was found that the tumor from one of one mice is rejected in some other mice. So, that time conclusion was like uh, this tumor progression depends on genetic variability, people did not know because immunology was not progress that much and also other information was not there. And eventually it was found that this is by T cells and not only T cells alone and there is another set of complex gene which now we know it is MHC the major histocompatibility from name you can understand histo means tissue I told you already. already histamines tissue and compatibility that means, some genes are responsible which is highly polymorphic which are responsible for compatibility of the two tissues from donor and recipient. And this function how it is different we know. So, far what we discussed that if you remember the T cell lectures we discuss about MHC restriction. So, our T cell normally does not recognize for an MHC that is for 95 percent of the cell or maybe little more, but a very good population of T cells present in our immune system which are alloreactive. Alloreactive means which can recognize others MHC that was not discussed much, but these alloreactive T cells are the major concern for this rejection. As soon as one organ transplant to another body 95 percent or little more than that will not do any harm, but that 4 5 percent alloreactive T cells are going to recognize the foreign and as soon as they recognize the foreign if it is a cytotoxic T cell they will kill it. Okay. So, will come, but how it was first discovered that T cell is the major responsible for this rejection this is the experiment what it was done. So, they are normally uh, one more information I should add normally what you say the one set of allele of MHC which is coming from single parent suppose father and mother one set will come from father another set will come from mother 
and I already told you that they are co-dominant okay, that both will express. So, one set that we inherit from our father or mother is known as haplotype. Okay. So, remember and you check what is this means. So, one set that we receive from either of the parents either from mother. So, I have or all of us have two haplotype one exactly the mother another from father. Okay. And this combination, because we cannot say how many genes are there, so many polymorphism. So, normally a particular type or one set or two haplotype set containing mouse, suppose it is MHCA, okay, MHCA, another is MHCB. Okay. So, two mice, they are genetically different. So, we, instead of saying where the differences are, how many differences, we group them MHCA type. That means all MACA type mice are identical in one type, MACB is different, MACC is different. I am not going all the details like what are the difference, just for the timing assume MACE is one type, MACB is another type. Okay. So, if you transfer skin from MACA to MACA type, MACA to MACA type graft is not rejected, okay. it is kind of auto. Okay, they are exactly same, it is like identical, it is normally we find it only in inbreed mice. Okay, inbreed mice they are genetically almost identical, but now if you do the similar experiment with MHC A to MHC B, what will happen within 10 to 15 days, within 10 to 15 days it will be rejected. You see this different stair like thing is that means this graph means some mice I mean rejected at this stage, some group is this day. So, because you cannot do experiment with one mice only. When you do this kind of experiment, you have to maintain a minimum number, so that you can um, suppose you do it with one mice and at the very 10th uh, or 11th day it dies. So, I cannot conclude that all mice will have the same thing. So, we have to do a minimum number, so that I can do statistics to get a uh, good result or the reliable result. So, say maybe 9 mice or maybe 15 mice. So, what we see that some mice die at this 11 days, some one at 12, some one 13, some one 14 something like that. Okay. So, this tear is like that. So, you see within within 2 3 days within 2 3 days uh, 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 most of the mice rejected their skin. Clear? So, now if you take the same mice which is turn 1, suppose you transplant one part and, so, uh, and you see this is transplanted here and it is rejected. So, you thought something might be wrong because when you are doing the experiment first time what will happen where well, something is wrong. So, okay, let us try. So, you take the same mice and transplant again from the same donor another part of the body. Okay you see it is little left, okay. it is little, it was initially it was here, now it is here. You see what happened, the graft rejection is much more accelerated, it is much before like 5 to 6 days or 7 days within that and most of them die here or the rejected, the graft is rejected not die, reject, uh, uh, graft is rejected here and one or two are here okay, maximum. So, what happened? Initially, it took 12 days or 13 days. Same mice, if you transplant again, within 6 7 days, it reject the graft. It is so people thought that it is very similar to your primary infection and uh, primary immunization and secondary in immunization. That means, if any adaptive response, if it happens successively, the first time it takes little more time and next, uh, next time it takes less time. So, the antibody concentration goes up. If you remember that similar thing happen like initially immune system need more time to understand that some foreign thing came. Okay. Some foreign thing came, so it is here, but same mice took much less time. Okay. So, then they realize what could be the problem, I mean what is there. So, they did many experiment, but after that what is a uh, effective one is that you assume the similar thing. Suppose, you have this mice, okay. you isolate T cell from there, 
So this is this one. So this mice and this mice is same, which is already sensitized. Either this one or this one is fine. It is already sensitized. Okay. So T cell is activated. Now what you ha what happened? If you do this experiment, say if you take a fresh MHC B mine which is not transplanted before, and one donor MHC A. If you transplant this it is supposed to react like this, it should take 10 to 12 days, right. But what you do in addition to that transplant, you isolate the T cell from the sensitized mice, purify it and then inject the T cell both are MHCB, but one was sensitized that means transplantation happened before, isolate T cell, inject what happened, you see the similar reaction. Okay. That means, even if it is the first time getting the transplanted part of the skin, but in addition to that it is also getting a sensitized T cell which is accelerating the pro whole process. So, what I can say very simple way that T cell is one of the important factor which is contributing this graft rejection. Okay. This T cell is the one of the important factor or primarily the T cell is responsible for graft rejection. Next, transplant rejection is caused primarily by the strong immune response to non-self MHC molecule that I just told before like there are alloreactive T cells which can recognize the MHC uh, molecules of non-self that is whatever come in, came is not mine. Okay. But what happened if it is the MHC identical? If it is MSC identical, then it should not uh, do this graft rejection. But what happened in MSC identical also? In some cases, rest this rejection is caused, but slowly. Okay, I am repeating again, MSC identical, but not exactly like the inbreed YOLO to YOLO. No they are both are MHC A, but some part is not exactly identical. Then it can cause or it will reject the graft, but not as fast as what we just see in the MHC A and MHC B type. It will take longer time, okay. it will take longer time like MHC A to MHC A, okay, this, this, this scale is uh, this particular scale is changed. You see it is also in the 10 days. Okay. So, it is not like before, it was before it was little far I mean just a minute before it was here. Okay. So, the scale changed. So, do not be confused like that. So, MSC A to MSC A complete match, okay. it is a syngenic recipient, syngenic means completely identical there is no variation. So, there will be no graph rejection it is graph will be tolerated. So, body will not figure out this is come from somebody else. MSC A to B that we just discussed after within 10 15 days it will reject the graph. Okay. But what will happen MSC A to MSC A, but they are not they are MSCs are identical, but rest of the part is not identical. What is going to happen? It is also going to reject, but it will take longer time. In case A to B is 10 days, but both are MSC A. Okay donor and acceptor or donor or the recipient, but here MHCs are identical. So, it is taking longer time that means M T cell is responsible that we know if T cell is responsible definitely MHC will play a major role okay. and while studying all this thing what I say the first time how they figure out that uh, transplantation is uh, not successful in one mice to another mice while transferring this uh, tumor in 1930, it took long time like 15 20 years it took to understand that MAC is the responsible and the first MAC was reported in um, 1958. Okay. 1958, it is not like uh, hundreds of years, it is and after that lot of work, different history. And if you want to know MAC and development of this, you just what you can do is you can just type history of MHC, history of MHC in the net. There are a lot of good sites are there where series wise their discovery, what the scientists, what they did, 
how it is progressively discovered it is nicely you can find in um, different sites in in, uh, in the net okay it's nicely written so 1958 it was first um, discovered like okay human has some gene which is polymorphic and initially it was named as mac m a c okay so he isolated the blood from three individual patient and the first letter of their first name was M, A and C, that is how MAC and later it was named as HLA, HLA and this what we are seeing here that MHC A to MHC A when it is coming and it is rejecting suppose all are identical, but one thing I am just giving you a simple example. Suppose one male is donating the organ and a female is receiving right. So, there is a difference in our chromosome. We have uh, the male has Y chromosome which is not present in female. So, any gene present in Y chromosome may be different in case of uh, female right male gene Y, but that is the reverse is not true because both male and female both has X. Okay. So, these kind of minor changes in the protein are possible I am just giving a very straightforward example the Y specific proteins which is not present in female can make a difference which our body can figure out or the immune system can figure out this is for it. Okay. How? So, this is a very uh, nice I, I like this carton for to be a very simple way it is exp, uh, explained like what is this called it is called actually minor antigen. Okay. It is called minor antigen minor H antigen actually you know major histocompatibility compatibility that H and it is a minor what is happened hope you remember this slide I remember this picture. So, normally all the proteins are degraded through proteasome in the cytoplasm and they transfer through TAP and then fit into the MHC molecule MHC 1. So, if you remember the antigen processing suppose two protein of two individuals are almost identical you see the yellow part okay. yellow part that means these protein are almost identical, but there is small segment which is red here and there is blue here. Okay. So, this red and blue are the very small difference. So, if this is donor, so donor cell protein will also be chopped and processed, it will not do any immune response, but it will process and be presented. So, both yellow and red part will go to the surface. So, yellow will be there and red will be there. So, this is donor, okay. donor will not create any problem, but if you transfer this thing and in recipient what is there yellow and blue. So, what will happen if you give some organ or some part of the donors things a kidney or anything this will go right this part will go. So, what will happen if this protein are expressed in recipient body. So, there will be another MHC thing. So, what we actually see is this one will also be here. Okay. So, yeah, along with this uh, blue yellow there will be one red on also okay. red one also red one also. So, this red part which is not present in the recipient are coming from donor. So, it is so minute. So, immune system will take longer time to identify that this is foreign. Okay. If it is major problem it immediately within 7 8 days it can figure it out, but if there is a minute difference and that yellow and red is not that big may be 1 or 2 amino acid is different not much. Okay. So, finding that small difference will take long time and that is why instead of 10 days it is taking 60 days, but ultimately our body will recognize that whatever way you try to um, convince me I will not. I can figure it out that okay, I have small and you the donor thing or the organ that I receive has a small difference and that is called minor H antigen. So, in MHC identical graft also rejection may happen because of the allo antigen bound to the graft. 
Okay. So, today I mean in this lecture we are going to stop and next lecture we are going to figure it out some more points. Okay. So, till then bye.